Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back again to the channel. We are continuing our climb up to cruise altitude on our flight from Edinburgh to London Heathrow today. Lots to do, lots going on in the aircraft, but we're going to talk about descent planning. Um, shorter flights require us to think a lot further ahead because as quick as we reach top of climb, we will be hitting top of descent. You remember from our discussion a little earlier on, um, we spoke about the Descent Winds tab in the OFP in our earlier tutorial video. And again, that's going to be really useful for us now. And here it is. So, we're going to look at putting all of this in to the FMS in the Descent tab. So, we go to Forecast. We can look at B pilot and we can type in dot meta EGLL hit enter and we can see the QNH 9099 hectopascals so let's put that in and then we want to put some winds in again it's up to depending on the aircraft that you're flying but you can pick a couple flight level 200 150 and 100 can be good ones to use and you're going to input all of these into the altitude box of your relevant aircraft to help the airplane calculate where it needs to begin its descent from to achieve the constraints in the star so I'm going to work ahead and put all of these in Carries 931, continue on your present heading and descend flight level 90. Flight level 90, present heading, carry 92. Mm -hmm. Charlie Charlie, climb flight level 370. Flight level 370, right, Essex Charlie Charlie. Easy 427, Charlie, so that's heading 32. And there we are, done. The transition level is always higher than the transition altitude so on a departure you go through the transition altitude which is when you then change to standard pressure but when you're changing from standard pressure back to the local pressure you might have a different transition level if you're not sure just add 1000 feet so if your transition altitude is 6000 on the SID charts if you're not sure if you're in doubt Put a transition level of a thousand above, in which case it would be flight level seven zero. And then go into your arrivals and make sure you've got your star input correctly. Go to legs, make sure the waypoints match the charts, it's really key. Very briefly, ascent planning. Hope you found it useful. Hit subscribe, hit like, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Online, bravo, one of the unicorn ones.